Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm going to do a reading while I have some free time and quiet time, hopefully. During this Sunday, normally on the weekends, I don't get to do it because it's kind of noisy. But uh, it's been a lot of calmness here, and I've been working my butt off to keep the home peaceful and clean and clearing the energy. So... If you can't hear me, please turn me up. That is my tablet in the background. I have my um my fireplace display playing for me. So that's the noise. But yeah. Happy Sunday. Blessings. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you protect me as well as my collective. Send in love, radiance, protection, prosperity and um victory and success you can have and want anything you can do all things through christ that strengthen you heavenly father i pray that we wake this morning with love and joy and fulfillment within our hearts i pray that um our coverage is never broken nor bonded to the negative energy or spirits, Lord, that's trying to latch on or cling onto our soul and spirits, Lord. Keep them pure, keep them innocent, and keep them vibrant, as soft and as gentle as a newborn baby or child. Um, Lord, we love and adore you. We lift you up. Life wouldn't be possible without your guidance. And your love and your protection, protection, Lord. So we need you every day. All right, so let's go ahead. Amen and get started. Yes, I'm trying to be cute. I'm wearing my new um, lipstick. It's called Rum Raisin. I made a short about it, Rum Raisin, and I did my nails. Yes, I do nails as well. It's been a while, and I had enough for a little money um, to get my some of my supplies back. So I did like a purple tip and then clear and glitter coating. So that's my nails. Wait a minute. Very cute. Something simple. So let's get started. Let's see what's going on. I do feel, even before I start my reading, that it's a bunch of silence. It's a bunch of people on Hush Mouth for y'all collective because they see that you can be discerned only you can be diagnosed by the most high by god a lot of people got their mouth shut a lot of people still talking but it's not much that they can say about you because they know that you're serious and you got a lot of people like tongue-tied if you know of a band called Group Love, it's a song that I love called Tongue Tied. I listen to all music. I don't discriminate. So go check that song out. It's called Tongue Tied. That's how a lot of people feel right now about y'all collective. They can't uh, say too much about you. Because they know. You mean business. Yeah, split the deck because it's a power card. Daughter of Nice. Red is a power color. She's standing in the middle of a, snow, a, a storm. A snowstorm with a dress on. Armored up, prepared for whatever's coming her way. This is a battle card. Y'all are very strong during this time. And a lot of people see that. They witnessing that. That they doubted you. They underestimated you. They hurt you. They put you down because they thought you were weak. This was you, collective. This used to be you, but now the sun is coming out. 
You deserve to heal. You deserve to have a healthy life, peace, love, romance, anything that God um has to offer you is yours. You de deserve a peaceful life. So let's see. Holy Spirit, please tell us what we need to know and not what we want to know. Okay. Yeah, here we go with that crap. It's a union. It's a love union. Always said. Uh, people don't want y'all together collective. So there's somebody coming towards y'all could have already had a baby or had a baby on you or had a baby with someone else. But said uh, they 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 still they love you. And said I don't know, but um. Yeah, you, the two of y'all are supposed to do like charity work um, together or just community work and help give back and aid in humanity and help the world and help teach people or just be nurturers and givers. Mm. And so they don't want that because this is my homeless card. This is what this card represents, struggles and battles. And same thing in a storm, a middle of a cold winter storm. It's not, they're not dressed properly. They have no shoes. They don't look comfortable. They don't look safe. This is how these people want y'all to be. Struggling, homeless, without, left in the cold. But this is how they're about to be. Because they wanted this for you, collective. Hold on. Oh, I get that off. But yeah, this is how um they wanted y'all to be struggling. Somebody could have a son or they just had a baby or they could have just had a baby with this somebody and they want to leave this somebody hmm Or maybe you just had a baby. And these people think that just because you're a mom or you're a parent that, you know, you're not supposed to have freedom. Or you may be really creative. Or also, someone can see that you're very nurturing and they want to make you a mom because they see all the creativity that you hold and they underestimated that. They felt like you weren't um, worthy enough or being responsible, I guess, of being a parent or parenting. But they see this now. They see your worth and said they may be excited they want to get you pregnant or they want to make you become a parent or a mother. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, they try to attack your confidence. 
that's not going to work. They want you to feel like you shouldn't love yourself. They want you to stop loving yourself. They want to put you down so you won't have self-love. They want you to feel like, am I beautiful enough? Am I ugly? Like, all that. Like, man. Mm-mm. So these people need to grow up. They act like they in high school or like they in school or something like some some bullies. These people are bullies. They mad because they don't love themselves. Eight of knives. Ah, uh, yeah. So these people these people want to reconnect with you. So they may want to invite you for dinner. Or they want to heal their broken relationship with you. Ten of baskets. I'm done, man. Yeah, marriage. Somebody could be trying to, they want to propose. Somebody want, somebody getting married. Because they, like I said, they see that you heal when I split the deck before I got into the summary of the story. They see that you cold, you healed. And now they want to come in and be like, they want to be buddy-buddy and butter you up. Because they see the strength that you hold. Look, the star card. Now somebody could want to come in and marry you. I wish this tablet quit talking. Hush, woman. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so yeah, they can want to come in just because you've healed and they see all the success that's in your near future and the power that you hold, like I was saying, and said they want to flip it. They want to make it about them. Like say they could be somebody that doesn't have a lot going for themselves or they might be dependent upon people or they always, they're used to getting what they want, but they want to come in and try to marry you and like basically take your shine and like be a pushover and steal your spotlight and make it about them is what I'm getting the star card. Child trash. Yeah. The Empress, man. Because you strong. Your aura is really increased at this time. It's bright. You're beautiful. You're handsome, male or female. The Empress card. Yep, I'm done. Sit down. What is this? The Justice card. These people want to apologize. And want to come in with some fake proposals or fakeness of some sort and want to act like they mean well son of wands and said this giving yeah you got a lot of haters like i said you got on red swimming trunks you got a lot of two-faced people around you or a lot of two-faced people watching you gossiping family members ex exes past lovers friends old friends um, it could be old bosses, people you used to work for. Put it where it needs to go. You know what you're dealing with in your life. Said, so, but once again, red represents power. So these people fake and they hating that you standing in power. And they watching you stand in your power. Whether you're on a platform, whether you're um in a big or high role position. In in life or wherever it may, wherever this this storyline fits your um situation, so these people some haters, and they watching you love yourself. They watching you do well, and a lot of people are pissed. And they talking a bunch of trash and all that other sort. Said I'm done. These people sad. Strength card, keep flopping over it. the devil card. So, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna pull these. Look, there you go, the devil card, Diablo Blanca <laughs> or Negro. Um, 
Negro Diablo, however you say black devil and white devil, because I've I've been with a white man and I've been with a black male. So but yeah, anyways. <laughs> um the devil card. Mm -hmm. These people are mad. They want to cause you a tower. Yeah, want you to be burdened. They don't like all this freedom that you got. Want you to be sinful. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people envy your strength, man. Your walk in life. And these people are too prideful to give you, say, apologize, man. They stuck up. Some of these people greedy. Mm hmm Lust. Wrath. Sloth. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, they want to come. They don't like that you heal. The devil card. They want to cause you a tower. Yeah, I sit down somewhere. People trash. Okay. Okay, baby. The way them flew out. Hold on. Yeah, I'm done. Got these people feeling some type of way. Mm. Oh, child, I know this email did pop up talking about some parenthood. Yeah, this said somebody could want to make you a mom. That's this confirmation. It said, but I ain't pregnant, baby. <laughs> Mm, but anyways, yeah. Mm. So you got this. Somebody got some braids. So they trying to compete, man. Who is this? Could be trying to compete and copy and mock you. I said they scared to admit that they look up to your butt. Mm. Mad. Child. Somebody could want to fight. There's, there's a lot of aggression. Somebody's feeling angry. I'm done. Yeah, so these people, they know they want to come towards you, collective. They want to marry you. Look, like they've been thinking about this. They're pondering. Yeah, a sweet woman. You could be a sweetheart. Time done. I say probably mad because they won't let them um come towards you collective. They wanna fight. They angry. Oops. Okay, I'm done. I 
And I said, these, pe these people effed up. These people are effed up, man, because they know there's somebody that's crazy over you. If they come towards you collective, they know that they're going to get healed, too, because you're a healer. And said so they bitter. Said so a lot of these people, these this person's family members, they're not, they're unhealed. They're jealous and said so they're envious because they know that you're a healer or they're feeling some type of way. They keep trying to make it, make him, throw him on path when he want to heal trying to heal but say keep getting put all these obstacles and challenges in his way and he keep trying to climb his way back up so they know this is possible if they come towards you you gonna heal them i said but they don't want this to happen six of knives yep you're a healer And this person sees that you're carefree, your inner child is very, is very healing and maybe growing up or this person collective growing up, they weren't allowed to express themselves or they got beat and put down a lot for being happy. And they see that with you, they'll be, they will be able to do this and heal that inner child said, I'm done. These people are evil. And I definitely understand that. That's how my um people was or being moved around and having to live with other raggedy family members when my mom got killed by my dad said couldn't laugh too much, you couldn't have a good time too much, or it'll be some they hated it. I'm like, man, F y'all. That's evil. How you gonna sit up there and get mad cause somebody wanna be happy? Them get them demons out your chest, man. They were that car, yep. Yeah, these people see that you're having, you're excited because you believe in yourself and you know that whatever you've been working on, it's going to be a lot of success. And what's the word? Um, you, um. You manifest when you're when you're happy, happy, and you're in high energy, and you're just innocent, happy. And when you love yourself and stuff like that, you're an excellent manifester. So you'll be able to have anything you want from God. The higher source is going to help you. He's not going to leave you hanging. take them up the strength card yeah they mad because you you in position of power and you're powerful in general these people want you to be stuck look i'm telling you got this person cutting the hell up because you you strong and they watching you they see they know you strong as hell that could be, I'm telling you, a lot of aggression, fighting with family members, people in general, having meltdowns, having outbursts, disputes, because they don't like this, because you're well off without them. Yeah, we talked about this card, the sun card. This person want to be with you. Look, right behind it, the lovers, I'm finna show y'all, they want to get you pregnant. 
how he hold in her belly. They want a new beginning. They probably want to apologize or try to reach out to you. The lover's card right behind it. Look, right behind it. The mother of wands, like I said, they know you're a nurturer. They know you're very healing and you can help them. You're very creative. And you got what they need, but they can't get to you because they won't do right. And they know that you're very stern and you ain't going to play no games. Look. Now, this sound, this came up, well, these, well, no, upside down. Yeah. Because without you, uh, they feel empty. You will fill a lot of void in their life. Or you will give them a lot of sunshine, a lot of love and compassion. And you will fill their heart, which will also help them heal more. Said so it's empty. I said, child, they've been scraping and searching around and in on the inside of their thoughts and feelings of their heart and said they realize that there's nobody that they can compare to you. They feel empty. And they've been feeling empty for a long time. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. They see this face like, man, why this person loving on themselves so dang hard? All these, all them beauty spells and all that, man, we wish that she would, he or she would hate themselves and not feel all mustered up and assure themselves that it missed. It missed. It backfired. You inspire people. Come on now, and they bad about it. Oh, well. Oh, flipping well. Okay, we'll take off the card. They just be flying and popping out by themselves. Yeah, you're a nurturer. You're a peer. They see this. Could be a Virgo, don't have to be. Hmm. <laughs> or I'm just getting, you could have humbled these people or this person collective. Because they, they see the truth now. They misjudged the hell out of you, man. They fumbled you. That's their Trey Souls. I fumbled you hard. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry that I messed up, girl. It's all or nothing. Hey. I never, I'll never love another girl. And it's not your fault. I fumbled your heart. <sighs> okay.
child, what the hell is this? Mm -mm. Yeah, sales people want to come towards you because the chariot car and the wheel of fortune car and then on the bottom they came out together. Because they see, they can see, they can see it too. Well, see, you got a lot of goodness coming. I said they want to come in and think they, they could be trying to want to make up to you, give you something, give you a gift, gift you something, something of the sort. Child. Or in other words, these people could be trying to give you your flowers or say that, like I said, they fumbled your freaking heart. <laughs> they see who you are now. They uh, they misjudge you a lot. Look. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know y'all know that, that that quote never judge a book by its cover saying people always do that. You can't do that. Whoa. Yep, I know man, look, here we go. Hold on. I, <clears throat> look oh my god, look at this. Hold up. Yep. Mm. Yeah, so somebody got with a chick said, oh no, they married or not, said she got braids. Probably, probably like I said, man, they had another child with this woman or something of the sort. I said, I'm done. Said she not having it. Said the man is trying to like tell, calm her down because he see, no, she sees that, oh, um, he drifting away from her butt, man. Look, five of wands is what I'm getting. And then, look, this is the card where the, the little deer or antelope is looking off. Wow. Like I said, the woman, the wife or girlfriend or whatever, the relationship is trying to do everything in her power to keep him because she knows that his heart is not with her anymore or probably never was. Look. You can't see it. Hold on. But on the picture, you can just see, like, she keep trying to get his attention and said, child, he don't want none of it. He want y'all co um, attention collective. I said, somebody probably going to hear something around Christmas time or something of the sort. Because all these dang holiday commercials keep popping up while I'm doing this freaking reading. I'm trying to focus this, too. Y'all can see it. See, trying to keep him reeled in and say he don't even want to. And she know that. That's why she pissed. They probably been fighting everything. That's coming to an end. A lot of people piss that none of this spell work worked and it backfired like a mug. And said they they want to come with you to the light to your goodness your 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 journey of 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 sunshine that's gonna be big as hell when you continue on what God has for you a huge surprise that's only going to keep giving and keep going the more you choose to be faithful and be the best you can be unto God said they don't like it they want you to be the old person you was where you used to sit back and let them bully you lie on you and do all this of the sort they don't like it so they want to hang on to how you used to be the death card look look at that card you can't tell me this don't look like them i should call it out <laughs> this look like them nervous as hell sitting up there watching me i bet every day I ought to call y'all butt out. They did. Man, look just like you.
telling you, this chick got braids, and I bet you I know who it is. And she bright skin. The girl that they didn't got with had braids. That you left the collective for got braids, and she got a gap. She may do hair as well. I'm done. Quit playing. But I look finna be judged on the bottom of the deck. Cause she know. She know, man. That that man don't want her no more. Full card. This person want to heal, baby. So they ashamed for what they did. You should be. So, yeah, they has been fighting. These people be fighting, and they like drama. Attacking your love connections and love life while they be sitting back, and, and they loving it. Like drama. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is Emperor. It could, like I said, probably already had a baby. This Emperor is watching y'all, man. Or if not, they want to have kids with you. Look. Yeah, celebration. They see you celebrating, man. And you're innocent. You deserve to celebrate. Yep. People look up to you. You inspire people. Could be attracting new friends or kindred souls. Yep. They see you at total peace. Let me see something. Mm -hmm. 
So it's time for y'all to get to enjoy life now. I knew that car was coming. Yeah, this man is tired of watching y'all, man, collect it. Look at him. Acting a plum fool. And these people are people are witnessing him act the plum fool. And said the way he got this yellow and the way he upside down in this freaking couch, he could be trying to prance around like he already souped up and healed. And trying to muster down the way they really feel about you, collective. But they ain't, they ain't even nowhere close near Hill. They acting a dang fool. And say you driving they butt crazy. So they can't take it. Literally. And said family could not know what to do with them either. So they acting a, a donkey. <laughs> Some of y'all could be getting ready to um travel. It's going to be a good time. Exciting. I'm getting a date, something by January the 20th. Or something about the month of January in general. And they broke. Yeah, and they see you the creative one. They need your help. <laughs> you and a little investor, male or female, and say they broke because they don't know how to come up with no ideas is what I'm getting to um make no money. Or they could be looking at you like you a lottery ticket because you hella creative. Either of the sort. Uh. <sighs> yeah, because you're a magician. You're a little magician. You're magical. You're very creative. You make stuff happen. The world card. Yeah, these people want to cause you an accident, literally, so they could be wanting you to get hurt. They're mad because you love yourself, you're hella confident, 
could want you to get in an accident or get sick, ill, something of the sort. Because they want to throw you off. They want to cut this off. You see how her path is clear? She walking into her new beginning with all the, the seeds and that she's sown in hard work. It's clear. And she has multiple options. Gifts and talents. Or just greatness in general that, that you, male or female, that you've invested in. They don't want y'all to have that. They trying to do spell work, the moon card. Wishing that something would happen to you. Actually, that you get sick, sick, break a bone, get in a wreck. Something. Something of the sort. These people are evil. They trying to take your um your new beginning from you or at least block it. Yeah. And then that fell in my lap. Yeah. So that's the end of that deck. Let's see. I'm going to go in with my other deck that I made a while back. See what's going on with the love energy. Some more. Somebody said, let's have makeup, you know what? Somebody said, I need your touch. I'm addicted to you. <laughs> but not available. Your ancestors are protecting you, kicking Satan's butt. Peace be still. Saying to win your soul plan and God's contract for for life for you, warning. See, I just said that with my other deck. They want to block your new beginning or your blessings. I hate that you make me feel this way. You're driving them crazy. I said that. It's men's night. Um, Say, bro, let's grab a drink, get a haircut, go hang out with a homie. Um, go hit the gym. Why don't you love me? It's because I'm crazy. Passion kill, warning. I'm going to get you one way or another. Somebody could have thought they were with child. It was just a scare. You're not pregnant. That was close. I come to steal your peace because I have none. You're too calm and I don't like it. Warning. Yeah, trying to send you spiritual attacks. Get up and fight. You will get through this. Someone has a crush on you. Sips tea. Ooh, girl. Is she hot, bro? He or she? <laughs> Will you wait for me, please? Yeah, I called it. Mm, somebody could be one week pregnant. Congratulations. 
I'm a serial lover. I'll break your heart before you know it. Warning, you have an energy thief around you. You inspire evil. You got this. Take your power back. How do they do it? They can run, but they can't hide. It's almost over. Nighttime. These people could be sending you weird dreams or attacking your dream state. Or you could be having trouble sleeping. You could be sleep deprived. Something of the sort. Or somebody could not be resting because they, they got somebody else pregnant. And they probably probably weren't ready to become a father. Three weeks pregnant. Twisted. Keep sweat. Set firm boundaries. Pray. Meditate. Keep out. Trying to bind your energy. Do a cut cord prayer. Warning up to no good. Unbreak my heart, Tony Braxton. Whoa. So these people mad. Cars jetting out like that. Let's get married so I can ruin your life. Take things slow. Someone is having naughty thoughts. <laughs> 6 a.m. What's going on? I don't know. Some y'all could be waking up early at 6 a.m. or something of the sort. Restless, tired, having night sweats or something of the sort. I fear you, so I target and go against you to weaken you. I see the light in you. I want to make you feel small. Flattery, shower with gifts, money, overload, food, shh, I'll buy you anything. This is what somebody could be doing to y'all or trying to do. I love you in a red dress, but white makes you plain, gaslighting your emotions. You got an immature person or someone. Motel 6, they'll leave the light on for you. Child. Something about Motel 6. God, somebody could have got put out. Probably got into a fight with they lovers said because they immature said they ain't ready to have a baby. Congrats on the baby. You're pregnant. Love on the brain. Rihanna. I'm stuck on you. Love is on its way, baby. Don't give up. I make your life confusing so I can get close to your vulnerable side. I want to poke your soft spot. The devil is starving. Don't fight back. Stay calm. Peace be still. Gold. <laughs> I'm done. Somebody could be shopping for jewelry for you, collective. Or you could like gold, something of the sort. They're a window shopper of romance. Their intentions are false. Be careful. Practice self-love. It's time to piss the devil off. Stay on your ground. I got this. Ten toes. Oh, child. Yeah, something about it in the morning. Somebody could want to take you to get coffee. Something of the sort. He loves me, he loves me not. Look, I'm getting tired of these commercials on this tablet. Ooh. 
jealousy attacking your love connections. Mm. Have some girl time, self care. Love bombing, overly kind with compliments that are empty to lure you in. Let's pull those heartstrings, my dearest love. You're beautiful, not really childish. I don't know what love is. Lover boy, I think I'm a player. I break hearts for fun, childish. Got an immature MF for trying to come towards y'all. I love to destroy love connections. I don't believe in love, child. Warning, you belong to me. Hi, I'm controlling. No. I get really jealous. I can't control the way I feel about you. Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what crazy lover you'll get. <laughs> nice. Get up and dance. Shake your booty to raise your vibration. That's an option you could do. Dance, sing. Um, or work out something of the sort to raise your vibration. Your sex is like a drug. I need you. Sex, somebody got a sex demon on them. Could be a Jezebel spirit. Be careful. I'm lovesick. Bobby Womack taxi. Take me to the other side of town. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not okay right now. It's all about me. I'm needy. I complain a lot. Somebody could be complaining and whining a lot. Not doing the best at this time. Your feet must hurt because you've been running through my mind all D-Day. I'm addicted to you, baby. Will you be my wife? Somebody want to propose. Somebody could have had a missed period. Sex magic. Um, so they could be touching their willy and thinking about you, trying to make you reach out to them or get you to come to them or something of the sort. What's the ingredient? Attachment, high love, we're connected forever. Run, get out, alert, 911. Stay focused. Taste my New Orleans style. Hey, hun, why does my food taste strange? Be careful. Blood magic, or they could have been, they could be a kitchen witch or kitchen warlock, anything of the sort. Um, trying to tamper with your food, actually put crap in your food or um, use food as a tool against you, something of the sort, with, um, like a type of control. I kill, I'm very passionate for love. If I can't have you, no one can. Roses are red, violets are blue. I bet you didn't know I watch everything you do, so you got a stalker, like I said. My love for you is not a joke, it's true. That's what they want to tell y'all, I guess. Prove it. <laughs> Ooh, I sound country. Prove it. <laughs> um, They smear your reputation so no one else will want you. Whatever. They're punk. I can't stop dreaming of you. I'm lovesick. You can't break something that has damage control. CYG, I made that as my quote. Red Bull, it gives you wings. Yep, Lust Demon, Asmodeus. That's a type of um, Lust Demon that they may have or they do have. The con of twisting sexual desires, sinister. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. 
I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whether thou goest. Neither death, nor life, nor height, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 through 39. Someone likes to play the victim. Here she is Satan's cover girl. My ugly is showing. Whoops, my evil is showing. Oh my God. I can't be tame. I do what I want. She said, boy, bye. If things seem too smooth, something's wrong. So, like, I pulled that one card. They could have been over-complimenting you, try to buy you a bunch of stuff and butter you up because they know they've been in the wrong or cheating or doing something of the sort. They're hiding something from you, guilty conscience, using flattery as a tool against you. You're a man-eater. You make people go crazy. Faith works like a charm bracelet. Keep it on you at all times. I'm blessed. Somebody's having a boy. Congratulations. It's a boy. Silver. Clap your hands to balance your energy. I'm really clingy. I don't believe in boundaries. Seem to raise your vibration. Girl, get out of my video, YouTube background. <laughs> Push. I like to play tag with other demons, hate cults, smear campaigns. I'm weak, so I turn others against you. Got a jerk, whatever. They immature and they um not confident. Um, hates happy people. R. Kelly reversed their soul is empty. Take a pregnancy test. Somebody's having a girl. Congratulations, it's a girl. Love is like poison if you're not careful. He's not picking up the phone. Emotional manipulation. Ring, ring. Take a bath. Do your nails. Love you. Could be waking up at 3 a.m. out of nowhere. Give yourself a hug. You matter and you are enough. I can, I will, I must practice self affirmations. I start drama for attention. Look at me, I'm full of drama. Somebody immature as hell. All dogs don't go to heaven. Count your blessings. Why is it hot down there? Six feet under is where they going to go if they don't get it together. Me, myself, and I, I'm going to be my own best friend. Beyonce, you're strong. Get up. 
Somebody has a surprise for you. So right behind this, it could be a setup with this surprise. So they could be trying to butter you up, like I said, and try to come in and start some drama with you, start chaos, fight with you, or something of the sort. Try to act like they got something good for you, a gift. Behind the premeditated plans. Pack a bag. Purchase protection. Call a friend, loved one, or family member. You'll get through this. Move in silence. Shh. Child, only three parts left. <laughs> well, okay. God is working. Don't worry. Prayer works. Darkness is my best friend. Likes to sit in dark homes, rooms. Hates the natural light. The sun. And that will be the end of you guys' Sunday reading. I hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck in your love life and life in general. Protection over your babies, your children, your family. I want nothing but the best for y'all. And if you're feeling weak, low energy, or feeling unconfident, get up. Um, You can do it. You can do it. It may seem hard right now, but shake it off. Because if you don't at least try, you're giving the devil his lollipops. You're making it easy for him. Get up and at least try. I know it's hard, but send in love, peace, and light. Um, and happy Sunday.